yes so good morning all of you uh, let us uh, see the answers to the questions or the programs that i have asked you to solve so here is the first question it says print the following pattern so this is nothing but a rectangular pattern so you need to ask the user to enter the number of rows and number of columns so this will be a nested for loop that we should be using uh, so let us try to see if you all were able to write this program so since there are uh, rows and columns we require two variables say n and um uh, which will be used for rows and columns and then we have i and j as the looping variables and now we'll ask the user to enter uh, the number of rows and columns so first we'll ask the user to enter the rows and then we scan and since this is an integer we take percent %d and we try to scan the number of rows and then we'll again ask the user to enter the number of columns so slash n lets us take the input on the next line and this let us take this in variable n okay and now we have to uh, write two for loops where one for loop will be uh, executing for rows and the other will be for columns so we can start from i being 0 or i as 1 so let us take it as 0 as we have done this in the discussion and then we increment this so this for loop will function uh, for the number of rows which we have asked the user so there are n rows so this goes from 1 to n and then we need to have another for loop for every row you now have to print the desired number of columns so now this uh, number of columns we have taken in the variable m and then we just increment the looping variable here and inside this for loop we have to print the star pattern so this is the star pattern which we are printing and after doing this for every row so when i is 0 this is done for all the columns and this prints the first row after printing the first row we wish to go to the next line so we just print slash n here and this is the code for printing the rectangle pattern and this continues with i equals 1 the second row will be printed i equals 2 the third row will be printed and so on so i'll just uh, show you the execution here so let's see if we get the execution This is the C language. just wait a second i'll try to connect to the internet maybe there is a problem Yeah, so I think now I have the connection. Uh, 
okay so whatever is the case this uh, code will be running correctly you can just uh, verify it let me just refresh it So now it is asking us to enter the number of uh, rows and then the number of columns and for two rows and three columns uh, we get this as the answer. Okay so this is the answer to the first question here for printing out the rectangle pattern. Okay uh, now going ahead and writing the code for printing this pattern so we call it as the right triangle star uh, so trying to print uh, one star on the first row two stars on the second row three stars on the third row and so on right so to do this again we'll require uh, uh, n value here so this n is uh, used to go to the rows okay now we don't require the column since we uh, know what has to be done at every row we want one to be one star at one row if it is the second row we want it to be the second star so just for convenience let us take is it one here because if it is one we want one star to be printed okay so just for convenience we now are going from one to m equals uh, this okay and then we just print out this star value and uh, this will give us the answer let us try to just run this and see so if uh, we need to enter the rows here hmm, what is the issue oh yeah uh, m is not there you have to do it for uh, so if it is one you have to print once if it is twice you have to print twice so the handling variable is this i i just wrote m by mistake here yeah so change that and uh, now if you run this you will get a proper pattern here which is the right uh, triangle star okay you all can pause the video and uh, watch this and we can solve the doubts uh, probably if you don't understand this okay next we are trying to print this pattern with uh, a b c d now just instead of printing the star values we want to print uh, a for here second uh, row should have b third row should have c so we already have the loops correctly but instead of printing this star we need to print the alphabets right so what we'll do here is we will uh, create a variable for the alphabet okay and let us uh, have it 65 why 65 because uh, these alphabets are denoted by certain numbers in ascii values and capital a has value 65 okay but these are represented as characters here so we have percent c and what should percent c take up it should take up the uh, value character value which is present at 65 in the ascii uh, values okay and then uh, after printing it so a will be printed for the first time and now when value of i becomes 2 you need to print the next character so that should be 66 so in short we are incrementing this value of alphabet right so here what we'll do we will uh, increment the value of alphabet so we'll say plus plus alphabet and that will increment the value of alphabet 
okay so this is the code uh, for the next program i'll just run it and show you number of rows so now it is printing a b c d e as it was expected okay i hope this is understood to all of you you all can uh, check your answers here and now i'll go ahead and write the next program so the next program is to print this pattern now there is one change compared to the previous pattern here now it has a opposite loop that is now going from uh, from 1 to 5 but this inner loop this now has more number of elements right so here last had most number of element so in this case you have to uh, run the loop reverse for the inner loop okay so let us just uh, see an example here so if we uh, say restrict it to say five number of rows here because we need to get five values only so let us keep this five and we'll probably not even ask the user to enter these values okay and so for 1 to 5 so how many number of rows 1 2 3 4 5 so five number of rows but for the first row how many uh, numbers do we want we want five numbers so we start from 5 because we have to keep on reducing them so we start from 5 this remains i why because uh, if we are here at the first loop we want five go go from 5 to 1 right so if it is the first uh, row we go want to go from 5 to 1 so that is why this i loop will uh, judge what is the value uh, to max which you have to go okay but here instead of incrementing it will be decrementing why because we are having a reverse loop 5 to 1 so this should be a decrement operator here and then just print the value of what j why because j goes from 5 to 3 to 1 so this is j here okay and this should be the code okay so if you try to run this just a second yeah i think i just copy this let me just check what's going wrong i j variables i going from 1 to 5 j goes from 5 to whatever the number is right j decrements we are printing the value i suppose yeah 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 this should be greater than sorry for the mistake Yeah, and we run this, and uh, yeah, so it is giving us the correct output. Why reverse? Because we start from five, and uh, this loop is continued uh, to decrement until uh, this value of j is greater than or equal to one, right? In the second case, it should be. going up to 2 in the third row go up to 3 4 and then only 5 okay so that is why it, it have wanted to be greater here i just wrote it less than okay i hope this is understood okay and now uh, we'll discuss the last program so here you have to find the sum of uh, this series so if you see one is constant everywhere in the numerator and the denominator here is incrementing from 1 2 3 4 and it goes up to n right so there is a limit to n here so first of all we can ask the user to enter this value of n and this will require only one for loop why because there is no uh, calculation for uh, uh, matrix as such right so we'll first ask the user to enter the this has to be double quotes yeah 
so we now want the user to enter the value of n so what is the limit of n for this series okay, and then we'll scan whatever the user enters in this variable n okay um, so we have to find the sum so we'll require some value of sum so you can keep it float or you can keep it integer okay so and then uh, we just have to get we just want this for loop so we have to go till n here and we just need to find the value of sum right so what will be sum it will be i and we are dividing it by this and sum needs to be adding this every time Again, then we'll just print what is the value of sum after finding the summation. So we just say that sum is and then we uh, write the value of sum. It is an integer taken by us. So percent D here and the answer is in sum. So this should be the answer if you try to run this. Again, an error. Let me just check. Yeah, there is a semicolon missing here. So, value of n, let us take it 3. stopped working some problem with the input yeah you can just uh, execute this and check whether you get the correct answer and if there is a problem of uh, getting the integer value this can be changed uh, to float value here and uh, we can probably have some initialization because uh, you, we don't want any garbage value to come up and then instead of percent %d we can have f there is some error going on here okay i get the answer yeah so it is uh, 1 by 1 plus uh, 1 by 2 and you get this as the answer Okay, so these are the five programs. I hope you all have uh, written the correct uh, programs and if there is any doubt, we'll have a discussion during the lecture timings.